Hello guys and welcome back to Custom Gamer. My name is Daz and this is the show where we talk about level design while playing cool maps. Today we're having a look at yet another map from the Honey Map Jam, which was a pack of maps released a couple of weeks back where authors had to create a map in the Honey theme, Honey being a map by CZG. You can check it out on Quadicted.com by searching for Honey. I dearly recommend it, it's one of my favourite Quake maps. So today we're looking at Dearly Departed, which was one true purple's entry into the competition. A slightly bizarre map, uh, it's got some interesting features, uh, I think interesting is the right word, um, well you can be the judge. But uh, it doesn't quite feel finished, so you know, take what you see with a grain of salt I suppose. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so visually it's got that huge honey-esque feel to it with the textures and the giant pillars very very high ceilings and low floors now lighting wise the level does feel extremely flat I'm not sure if it's just that there's been no lighting computed or there's only min light uh, min light means that the level has been lit but just with a uniformly low light level but as you can see here it's not all full bright but it's there's no shadows anywhere it's just all the same kind of brightness uh, the thing One True Purple does which makes this bearable is that he's got a black fog at a fairly close distance. So it really does make you feel like you're in this very, very dark, kind of ambiently lit area. Um, obviously, if the level had been lit properly, it would look, you know, a hundred times better. But as it stands, the fog actually makes the map, you know, watchable. <laughs> Uh, there's some interesting things here, like lights on weapons, so they stand out from the environment. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really a fan of the lighting, if I'm honest. The fog saves it from being utterly awful, but, you know, just having a min light in your map is not particularly great. But I do like the way the fog works to kind of darken everything after a certain distance. It really reminds me of, like, old N64 games. Uh, the Turok series comes to mind where because the console wasn't that powerful you just had a really really close fog in most uh, N64 games which just you know let the developers use a really really close uh, clipping plane so that the, the renderer didn't have to actually render that much but it gives the map a quite a nice kind of dark vibe as well uh, I think there's I think the idea's definitely got legs but uh I think with some with some actually decent lighting in the map as well, it could be uh, really good. So that aside, the gameplay is... It feels very, very random. You've got a very, very kind of purposeful ambush at the beginning with the quad damage, which instantly was cool because the only piece of water you've seen in the map was in that little uh, recess in the floor. And then when the quad damage drops in, you hear a little splash, so the player instinctively knows where to go and look for whatever just made that noise, which I thought was very, very clever, actually. I like that. But yeah, the gameplay after that first ambush just seems very, very random and kind of not really well thought out. It's, it just it feels like there's a couple of monsters sprinkled around the map so the player wouldn't get bored. It doesn't really, really feel like there's any kind of purposeful ambush set up. Aside from this very last area here where there's a couple of enemies on a bridge. But you've probably noticed there's some interesting use of textures on the walls in, in areas. <laughs> Again, I'm not quite sure what this is about. One True Purple's a little bit strange. If you hang around with him a bit, Terrafusion and the other IRC channels. Yeah, he's a bit weird. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, but... I really don't get what the textures are about in this map. I mean, I, the only guess I can have is that, you know, he didn't have enough time to finish off the map, so he just kind of put some fun stuff in. Which kind of makes sense, considering the huge exit trigger at the end here, which is, <laughs> again, a little bit weird. But yeah, a bit of a crazy map there. I'm not really sure what to make of it. Got an interesting ambush at the beginning, but the rest of it just felt a little bit kind of... It wandered way too much, wasn't really too sure what to do with itself. Um, the lighting needs a lot of work as well. Looking forward to more stuff from One True Purple, I'm sure he can do better. Alright guys, we've still got some more 
jam one maps to get through and then I will make start on jam two which was a great map pack uh, I have to see if I can find some Half-Life 2 stuff to do as well because it's been very very much a kind of quake focused channel the last couple of weeks but we'll see I'll get around to something I'll see you next time